So I wanted to kind of finish up our conversation on the, on the vocational um, programs. And I, I want to make sure, what is, what is your name? My name is Mui. Mui. Okay, and, yeah. and, and your job is you work with the Ministry of Education here in... I, I work for the Department of Education and Training and under the, the administration of the People's Committee of the City. Uh, but uh, we have to do reporting to the MOAT, the Ministry of Education and Training, uh, monthly, timely, and yearly. Okay. Yeah. Explain to me a little bit, I, I know we were talking about it a few minutes ago, about the vocational training yeah. in the schools and, and kind of what the plan is for that. Um, and what the options are for kids who don't go to the university. Uh, for the students who finished at uh, the ninth grade, when, they, uh, when he, they graduated at the ninth grade, they can choose to go to vocational school and what we call it the program 9 plus 3 or 9. Uh, or they can graduate from the, the 12 grade mm -hmm. and then they will go uh, to the vocational school, what we call it the 12 plus 2. Okay. Uh, or they can uh, study vocational school, uh, vocational level in the college with a three year program. And their pathway is very wide open right now. They can uh, finish uh, vocational school and then they move up to college with a three year degree and they move up to the university with a four year degree. Uh, it, it will depend on the, the vocation. Uh, vocation. But the ministry is putting more uh, money and more investment into voc vocational programs? Uh, the ministry will, will invest in the academic purposes, but each of the provinces, each of the provinces, they will have their own budget. Like like our city, we have our own budget okay. for voca for education in in common and particularly in vocational in vocational uh, field, we also have a budget for them. Okay, and so what would be some of the things that students could study, for example? They can, vocations. Uh, in vocational, there are many kind of, you can see that they can study about hospitality, tourism, can, uh, even they can study about business, how to be a salesman, mm -hmm. uh, just in a simple way. Auto uh, mechanics. Uh, uh, mechanic, uh, auto mechanics, uh, even uh, in, in some cases, uh, IT. Right. Uh, IT, but in lower lower level. Right. Okay. And is this, t these vocational um, prof professions, I think you told me there were 60 some odd. Yeah, it, uh, there are 66 colleges and vocational school. Uh, in the colleges, they also have the vocational level. And in there's some uh, vocational school, that's just vocational school. Um, and uh, city says that, that included public and private. Mm. And for the public, we have 10. We have 10 colleges and vocational school. Mm. And the other uh, colleges and school, uh, in the private sector. Okay, so a lot of the, would you say a lot of the vocational schools are private or yeah, majority are public? Most, most of them are private. So, so then they'll have to pay some good money to... So they have to pay, they yeah. have to pay because uh, you know, uh, our city have the burden of population. All of the, the people in our country want to go into the city for seeking opportunities. Could, because this is one of the best places to do yeah, it. Yeah, one of the best places for... More for, than Hanoi. I don't know. Yeah. Because uh, our city is always in the center of the economy. Right, right. So if they want to, to, to have a, a job here, they have to get a degree, at right. least vocational level. Right. To take part in some job, maybe working in the hotel, mm -hmm. working in any place, you have to get a, a certificate at least. To, to, to be in the industry. Okay, you mentioned to me that they're going, they're moving more towards a, kind of a European model it, where you're getting more practical learning rather than theoretical, is that right? Yeah, uh, most of the, the school now, they try to connect with the industry. Right. Uh, the business demand uh -huh. for, for the, the market, for mm -hmm. the labor market. Right. But uh, somehow it's very difficult for them to, uh, for the for the student to adapt with the situation when they finish they, when they graduate, mm -hmm. they don't have an uh, experience right. good enough for the job. So our department have some project to connect with uh, some of the good schools in Singapore, you know, from the system of TEF, uh, technical further education mm -hmm. in Australia, New South Wales, mm -hmm. that to pilot some 
in some major, in some field that could bring the whole the whole curriculum mm -hmm. of, of this country, those countries to our, our city. And you saw some of this when you visited it? Yeah. And it was pretty impressive? Yeah. Yeah. It's, very, it's, very, it's because they have their own vocational in the high school. Right. In, in New South Wales, my director said that uh, they have the vocational studies in their school, right. in the high school. Mm -hmm. So when they finish uh, the, the, the school in high school, they can imagine how 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 real how right. real and can, how they can interact with right. the work in the future.